What's going on, Pathways Church? I'm Jake Collins, your middle school pastor, and I'm excited to join you this week on Daily Dose. A few weeks ago, we started a journey through the Ten Commandments. This is one of the most studied, quoted, and referenced sections of the Old Testament. You might have memorized these at an early age if you grew up in church. Maybe it's your first time diving into this passage, or maybe your first time in a while. There's a reason why this list is so influential. These commandments, first given to Moses on tablets, continue to guide our relationships with God and others. We all have something that we can learn from this school of rock. Last time we explored the first five of the commandments. These concerned God's priority in our lives, the worshiping of God alone, respect for God's name, the keeping of the Sabbath, and honoring of parents. Let's pick up in Exodus 20 with verse 13. You shall not murder. On the surface, this commandment seems pretty clear and simple. I have heard people give their testimonies about tough seasons of their lives. I have heard them say things like, I broke many of God's commandments, but I've never killed anybody. Because it's so extreme, many of us probably can't even imagine breaking this commandment. Hold that thought, though. If we look at the story of Jesus, we start to notice a pattern. There are several times that Jesus uses statements that go like this. You have heard it said, but I tell you this. Basically, Jesus is not changing the law, but he is challenging his audience to look at it in a new way. In Matthew 5, verses 21 and 22, he says, You have heard that it was said to the people long ago, You shall not murder, and anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. But I tell you that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to judgment. Essentially, Jesus is saying that deep hatred in your mind is a form of breaking this commandment. Jesus goes on to say that the way we use our words can be another form of this. Just because you use physical self-control, that doesn't mean you're totally innocent. Years ago, I led an event where we explored the idea of hate and how we counter it. We talked about how there is hatred expressed through thoughts, words, and actions. Likewise, the way to take steps against this is through our thoughts, words, and actions. That's all for today. Join me back here tomorrow on Daily Dose.